currently making his way to the ringside area. This is the One Man Militia, Matthew Johnson! I'm still not sure what to make of Matt Justice. Is this man brave or is this man stupid? Spitting in the face of Doug Bradley, the preacher. Yeah, he painted a target on his back the moment he did that. He took something that a lot of people wanted, which was an opportunity to join the cult. And then he had the animosity and the audacity to spit in the preacher's face. Turning his back on the Hellraiser himself. But at the end of the day, that was an impressive victory for Matt Justice as he grabs the mic. Unfortunately, my opponents didn't bother to show tonight. Exactly. But hey, I know you people didn't come here to listen to me talk. I didn't come here to fucking talk either, all right? You guys came here to listen to heavy fucking music, right? Yeah, fuck yeah. You guys are in a fucking pit later, right? Well, hey, I came here to fight. So let's start that fucking pit right now. Because I know there's somebody in the back that'll fight me. So let's see who it is. And let's fucking go. Open challenge from Matt Justice. He fears no man. Sorry about your damn luck. You can hear it from the music, KG. A storms are brewing. I got to check the weather forecast for Buffalo. And his opponent currently making his way up down to the ring. He is the bearded outlaw, ladies and gentlemen, the cowboy, James Storm. I didn't even know he was here. Did he just come to see every time I die? Was he, he scouting Blackcraft? He heard they were serving fun and he brought me, so that was it. He said, I'm coming, the bearded outlaw. Bringing buds and making buds here in Buffalo, New York, the spirits of the dead. James Storm seems like a Buffalo kind of guy. Even though he's from Nashville, he's got that same working class spirit and sincerity that all the people of Buffalo have. Whoa, did you see he just put his beard inside the ring post? The whole crowd just gasped. I've never seen that done. <laughs> Matthew Just is not interested in parlor tricks relating to beer bottles. Matthew Justice came here to fight one person, and he's in there with a world-class competitor, the bearded outlaw, James Storm. Loud music and a loud start here to this sequence competition matchup. Justice flying to the outside. And now here we go, Storm. He's asking the fans to secure that barricade. Oh, wow. Fans getting involved here. <laughs> Never let it be said that Blackcraft Wrestling is not highly interactive. Someone needs to tell the Bearded Outlaw this is not a tag team matchup. Justice! Oh. Well, in a way, the Bearded Outlaw has a tag team partner in everyone in this venue. I feel like I'm back in London, the amount of beer that's going flying around this. It's like closing time at the pub. Oh, no, they're in the crowd! Justice said he wanted the pit to start early. He's ended up in the pit himself. Laid out flat on his back in the crowd. The bearded outlaw going to town. James Storm certainly has no limits. I think that beard just fired him up, loosened up his muscles, and now he's unleashing the ass whipping on the floor here. Nice aerial shot. But Matthew Justice, the one-man militia, fighting back. He didn't get here because of his looks or because of his lack of sanity or judgment. He got here because he's a damn good wrestler. But how long can you survive when you have enemies like the type of enemies that Matthew Justice has? He put, as you quite meant, rightly mentioned earlier on, such a target on his back. <laughs> Justice with the party foul. That's it. <laughs> there goes our 
production. If ever there was a reason to smash someone in the teeth, it's dropping a beer. No excuse for it. Yeah, I agree. And that's something that transcends America, the UK, worldwide. Sorry to the straight edge out here. I think it was a, a gluten-free beer for the straight edge. All vegan beer here being served at the Buffalo Waterworks. But I digress, because Matthew Justice now, hope I don't get pulled over, because I am going to reek. Oh, wow. Matthew Justice, what what the hell? Matt Justice going up top. Disrespecting his surroundings, there it is. Axe handle smash there. Justice Matt pumping up the crowd here. Justice seems to have forgotten that there is a ring. They're taking this all over the building. Heading back our way, KG. Matthew Justice. You know, having a little bit of an easier time with the Bearded Outlaw than I expected. Bearded Outlaw is no joke. Trained by Wolfie D, been around the world a million times and then some. Delta Airlines million mileage member. Held more belts than I could even mention in the time allotted. And beautiful clothesline by the Bearded Outlaw, Bees. This match swinging to and fro like a pendulum. Hit the Rignard. The Bearded Outlaw caught him right in the back of the nugget. Wow! The That's pace, gotta be it. The pace one. is unrelenting. Not even one! Matthew Justice is no joke. Not even one there. It's gotta be the adrenaline coursing through Justice's veins. I gotta wonder if Matthew Justice regrets this open challenge. I don't know if he expected the Bearded Outlaw to answer it. Justice in that crucifix position! Finds a way out. Leveled him. Axe and hand. Again. Right to the top of the dome piece. Matthew Justice reversed into that buckle, takes the ride, but Storm rushes in and eats the boot belly to belly overhead. Matthew Justice is a wrestling machine, bees. The hangover looks like it's kicking in early for the bearded outlaw. Bearded outlaw down. Matthew Justice now got this crowd right where he wants him. He's, He's getting in. into the headbanging and such. He's in real trouble here. He can't wait for every time I die to play, but he might have the win right here. Very uh, rare you see someone hook the head as Matthew Justice did there, but he did attempt to hook the head for the pin, but he only got two. But the one-man militia is seriously on top here. He can feel it. He feels the end is nigh. And you talk about historic. Matthew Justice competed in and won the very first Blackcraft wrestling match. It opened up the Burning Bridges show, and it's kind of what might affect really the whole future life and career of Matthew Justice, because he's opened a door to a world that I don't know that he's prepared for. Beautiful love blower! Storm! Storm gets him up! Again, back to that crucifix position, bees. Here it is! Helicopter slam, and no! How much more can these two guys take, KG? I think the Bearded Outlaw is ready to take this home. He wants the win. The storm came crashing down, but this match continues. Justice manages to kick out. And think about it. James Storm, seasoned, world-traveled, world-class athlete. Facing someone like Matthew Justice, neither of them knew what to expect from their opponent. And I think the Bearded Outlaw is quite impressed with Matthew Justice. Which way is this gonna go, KG? Oh. It's out to the outside again! Storm. There goes Justice. Justice! Suicide dive. Storm tried to use that top rope to prevent himself from being Death Valley driver. But Justice so smart, he went with the momentum and shipped him them right out of the ring, bees. And now Justice up top! What is going on? What? You said it! Picking fights is not the idea when it comes to the cult! And the preacher Doug Bradley is here! The Hellraiser himself! This is it, Justice! Look into the eyes of pure evil! You wanted it, Matthew Justice. You got it. Just be careful what you wish for. A slow, brooding walk to the ring from Doug Bradley. Don't forget Justice quite literally spat in that man's face at Burning Bridges. And the thing is, 
it's not about the physical acumen of the preacher. The preacher isn't going to physically fight Matthew Justice one-on-one, -on -one, but the preacher has so many connections and so many minions and so much influence, you never know what's going to happen. This crowd is exploding! Wait what a minute! Kind of, who is that? that? That's Gangrel! What the hell is Gangrel doing here? Never pick a fight with the Colt KG! You drew a target on your back, Matthew Justice. And Gangrel's here to stop that target out. This is unreal. My mind is blown, Kevin Gill. You know, just looking at Gangrel, it's no surprise he's a friend or an ally to the preacher. Oh my God. Gangrel got caught. Inadvertently. Justice still getting in the face of the preacher here. I don't know if this went as planned. Matt Justice has managed to survive yet again. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of the bout as a result of a disqualification, the one-man militia, Matthew Justice! Storm is irate! Storm is irate with the preacher! It cost them the victory. What does this mean for the future of Matt Justice? I don't know, to be honest. This this is very, very unexpected. We've seen Gangrel come after him. There are future Black Rock Wrestling events coming, and no one knows what is coming the way of Matt Justice. He walks out with a victory. I'm not sure he feels like a winner here, though, OG Kevin Gill. And he offered the handshake to James Storm, and James Storm refused it. Oh, well, that's better than a handshake, Beast. Tip the season. Let's start as we mean to go on. Storm and Justice forming an alliance in the most unlikely of manners. And how great is it to see two world-class competitors from two different worlds join forces right here in Blackcraft. There's beer in the cameras. There's beer in the soundboard. There's beer on the ring ropes, Beast.